are sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install and get started with uh, using uh, DOSBox on your Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm just going to go through the basics here. Uh, you may need a controller for this. Now, depending on what game you might want to play, you know, you may have an issue with the controller. You may not. It may recognize some controllers and others it may not recognize it at all so but before we get that far we need to make sure we get this installed and I'll throw a link in the description on uh, this information but we're just going to install DOSBox and once we already have it installed as you can see we are on version 0.74-2 <coughs> at the time of this video. So the second thing we need to do is make a directory so we can uh, put our games into. So we can just make a directory here. And once we have that, as we can see, we have it right there. We can just go ahead and bring up the DOS box. And to do that, we'll just type that in, and it'll bring it up. Now, this is a little bit small on your end. So, as you can see here, it says to activate the key mapper, hit Control F1. So, if we do that, we can do a Control F1. That will bring up the key mapper. And once you're done, we can just click save, exit. Now that gets us back to that. But another way we can launch that is to, we can just bring up the key mapper from the get go. And it brings it up like such. So like I said, I'll throw the, the commands on my website for this information so either way it will bring it up <clears throat> so the next thing we need to do is get our game so if we go to this site here and I'll throw the link in the description uh, you can just download whatever game you want so if you say you want this one just click on get then click on get again and it will download it. So it'll download a zip file. You need to get that onto the Pi so you can either launch your website through the Pi or just throw it on a USB and bring it over that way. But right here we have Oregon Trail that we have to zip. So I'm just going to unzip it and just unzip it to the desktop. No big deal. And all we need to do is drag it over to our directory that we just made. And that's it. The game's in there. So we're ready to launch it. So to do so, we need to mount the drive. <clears throat> so we already have this up. So with DOSBox running, we need to type in mount C, then that little curly uh, symbol there beside the one, forward slash DOS games, which is the directory we just made, forward slash, and we just need to type in the game that we want to mount. All right, so now that it's mounted, we need to change directory to C. Then we're just going to type in Oregon, which is the game that we want to bring up. And there we go, 1992. 
So we have it up. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, you have to play with uh, the keyboard there in order for it to, uh, well actually, if I probably do it on my actual keyboard, it may work. There we go. We're in. So there's the options. Now you can make this screen bigger. And by doing so, we can get into the uh, following file. So I think I forgot to show that. We can uh, get into the config file here. So if we bring up a new terminal, well, let's get out of this guy. So let me quit. All right, so to change some things around like the screen size and whatnot, we need to get into the following file. Now, like I said, depending on the version of the DOS box that is downloaded, your uh, file name is going to be a little bit different. But as you can see here, this is where you can make edits and some changes on uh, a bunch of different things here. So this is something that You'll just have to uh, see what you want to do because, I mean, for screen size, you definitely want it bigger. So, but the list goes on and on here. So, other than that, that's pretty much it on how to basically get started with DOSBox, get it installed and somewhat set up with how to put a game on your Pi to be able to play. So like I said, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for these commands and information. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.